Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2008 Pleasure Way Lexor RL4 with 64,110 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2008 Pleasure Way Lexor RL4. This is a hard-to-find RL4 model. That stands for Rear Living 4. So you got the rear area back here with the bed, and we have four chairs up front. This would be similar to a versatile road trek. As usual, we're going to start in the front, work our way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan and the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976. Our mom and dad, Ron and Kathy, started the dealership here. Today, Levi and I are in charge of the main operations. Brother-in-law Greg's in charge of the shop. Got a great crew that goes along with Greg that goes through these RVs to make sure they're ready to go. We will go through full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you might have. All right, we're gonna get going on this one then. If you notice some condensation around on the windows, that is because I have had the air conditioner on because it's really hot and muggy out today and the AC gets so cold in here that you get some condensation on the outside of the glass from it being so humid. Got the entryway here. Got belts on the two chairs here. We have a window that opens like so. No screen, but we do have a curtain that goes across. Got some controls for the overhead lights, the porch lights. Some of the lights have dimmer switches on them so you can control the dimness on some of the lights. Got your levels test here for your gray, black, fresh, your coach battery, water pump on off. This is the switch that turns the generator on and off. That has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan Techs. It's got 144 hours. That's an Onan 2800. Got your water heater on off switch, noxious gas detector. The seats up here do flatten out the front seat swivel. So you can flatten out these seats and swivel the front seats and you can make smaller beds up front here. So they're gonna be more like a twin style bed, better for smaller adults or children. Got a window that opens here with a screen on the lower portion, the curtain that comes down. Got some cup holders. Got a table for here and here. There's a table mount here on the floor and also in the rear. This is the drain for the shower. So we'll check that out in a little while, see how that works. We've got kind of a mix of tile flooring and the carpet in the front and the rear. So this is kind of for the shower bathroom area. Moving into the kitchen. Got your TV remote there. Two burner propane cooktop. Corian countertops. Single basin stainless sink. A 110 outlet there. Got your fuse panel there that is labeled. Got your battery disconnect down there on that red key that disconnects the coach batteries from everything in here to prevent parasitic draw. Also disconnects the charging systems to that coach battery, which are the alternator while you drive, the generator, and the shore power plug-in. We've got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer here. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power or your generator. DC, meaning the coach battery or propane gas. we got some instructions down here if you were to forget how to use that. Pretty much controlled on the faceplate here. We select what you want it to run on. I recommend leaving that on auto for the most part. Got some more light switches. You got a thermostat that controls your propane furnace and your overhead air conditioner. This is a switch that turns the TV on and off. We'll check out behind that TV here in a little while. Got the DVD player, your overhead AC. We've got windows that open on both sides with screens on the lower portion. The rear windows do not open, however, we've got the curtains all the way around. 
These speakers here on the wall go to the TV. So whatever you're watching on the TV, the sound will come out here. Again, got the three belts in the rear, four up front, so a total of seven belts on this unit. Got the nice, unique U-shaped dinette back here. You don't see this very often on a Class B van. I wish we got more of these Pleasure Way RL4s, but unfortunately, it's just kind of a hard to find unit. We've got a series of boards below this cushion that will span this gap, and you can drop these cushions in here to fill that up. You'll have to do something with these back cushions unless you want those there. Um, we'll drop some pictures and measurements here momentarily so you can see the sizes. I believe this one is designed to sleep this way. That way your head would be up here and you can watch the TV. However, depending on your height, it may work for you a different configuration. So go ahead and drop those pictures so you can check that out now. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 56 inches front to back or north-south and 72 inches side to side or east-west. If you are traveling solo, the rear part could be used as a bed that measures about 72 inches long east-west and 20 to 24 inches wide north-south with the narrowest part at the rounding of the U-shaped dinette. Here we are sitting in the couch bed at the rear of the RV. We've got some furnace ducts here, the return for the furnace, 110 outlet, noxious gas detector. What is the opposite of Antarctica? Uncle Arctica. Got about 72 and a half inches headroom. We've got the fantastic fan here in the center of the coach that runs on the coach battery. That can act like an attic fan at night to cool you down. Also sort of an exhaust fan for the restroom area, which is inside of here. This is the track for the shower curtain that will run around to contain the water while you're showering. Got your TV antenna crank here. Flip out this. TV to show you how this works. So since you can swivel the front seats, you can put this TV out like so and watch TV from the front. We've got 12 volt power behind here. We've got a 110 outlet. We've got an inverter set up here. The inverter allows you to watch the TV off of the coach battery, perhaps while you're driving. We do again have three belts on the rear sofa. We got a belt on each of these chairs and then your front belt. So there's a total of seven seat belts in this unit. That is quite a few seat belts for a camper van. So if you're looking for something with lots of seat belts that you can take lots of people with you, this would be an optimal unit. So checking out the bathroom area here. Got your books inside of here. Toilets here. This is your shower pan. So you will take this down here, put it on the floor and you take out this little plug here and line up the hole on the shower pan with the drain, and then the water will drain down into the floor. You pull the shower curtain around you here to contain the water. Got your shower head here. You can hang some stuff inside of this closet here if you'd like. We've got these sliding privacy doors here on both sides. So you can strap those in to prevent them from sliding around. Otherwise, they will come out like so and then you can put them into the cabinet there for privacy. There's a couple marks on the cabinets there from that not being done quite properly. Got your microwave oven here that runs on the shore power or the generator only. So we got TVs and the headrest here. So this is very nice. You can have some passengers riding along here. The speakers up top will play whatever you're watching on the TVs. So you put the DVD in here and that goes to these TVs. These headphone sets do work. So you can listen to this through the headphones if you'd like. Some room up top. Got an antenna laying up here. I think that's to get channels for this if you'd like to listen to music through that. Really nice specimen here unique floor plan. I really, really wish we got more of these RL4 units. I think they're nice having these four seats up front, lots of seat belts, good sleeping, does a lot of stuff that people are looking for in a camper van. I'm going to call this unit a nine out of 10. Very, very clean specimen, gone through our full inspection process. This is a clothes hanger flip out, so you can flip that out and hang clothes from that if you'd like. Again, very, very clean specimen, gone through our full inspection process. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. The driver and passenger chairs can swivel and connect with the chairs behind them to create sleepers that measure about 20 inches wide and 64 inches long, not including the backrest of the driver and passenger seats. You can recline the front seats and kick your legs up to accommodate taller folks in the front lounge beds. However, the 64 inch length will limit laying flat on these beds for taller users. 
Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. The head unit up here is XM radio capable, has a DVD player, it's navigation capable, it's got auxiliary in. Got the privacy curtain that pulls all the way around the front for privacy while you're parked. Not noticing any burns, tears, or funny smells in here. The cigarette lighter is unused, so although it's hard to say for sure, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Very clean up front. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2008 Pleasure Way Lexor RL4. This RV measures 20 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 1618 date codes. This RV is built on a Chevy 3500 express van chassis with 64,110 miles. Got a good looking exterior on this unit. Lots of shine, minimal blemishes. It's your porch light, back of the refrigerator. Got your coach battery. A couple of 110 outlets to plug things in beneath the awning. Furnace exhaust. Come around to the back of the coach. Got your backup camera. Got a tow package. Propane tank is behind this door. This is mounted to the unit, so you'll have to drive the unit wherever you'd like to go to fill it up. Got some storage down here. Got your awning center rafter and crank. Come around to the driver's side. Full-size spare on the rear. Back of the water heater. Sewer hose storage. Got your city water connection. This is a quick connect coupler on there. Got your cable TV in. Shore power cord. This cord comes with the unit. I got that plugged in right now. Couple small boo-boos on the stripe up top there. Overall, very good looking on the outside. Got your sewer dump, got your black, your gray. Pull the black first, let the toilet go. And the gray, the sink and shower water will push the black water stuff out of the, the hose. Got your city water hose here, a sewer hose. This is just a storage compartment. Got the fill for the onboard fresh water tank. You'll pump that out of that tank using the water pump inside the unit. You just flip that on, allow you to wash your hands, flush the toilet, use the shower. 